Hello all my model car building buddies. This is Model Cars with Glenn. That's Glenn. That's his dog. And this is how you spell Glenn. For those who can't read like me. Alrighty then. Let me show you my brother's picture. This one is quite different. Quite different. This is... Yeah, it's one of those. It's a volcano. And it's spitting out some big old rocks and stuff. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. I like, oh, wait. Put on the flashlight. See, that lights it up. Makes the colors pop a little better. That's pretty cool, ain't it? I like that picture. It makes a good backdrop anyway. Okay. Now. Oh. From my buddies at Spotlight Hobbies. I, one more. One more plug. I went and I painted the rear wheel wells inside there. Painted them black. Kind of cut up some of the orange. I think it looks good. Ah, it's like I missed a spot. Oh, yeah, well, I'll get it. Always something popping up like that. This this is, I love this car, man. I ain't changing a thing. It's going to stay like this. Fixing to go in the cabinet, but I thought I would give her one more spin on the old whirly jigger before, before I put up. I wanted to thank Spotlight Hobbies for sending it over. Spotlight. Okay, I'm going to set him over here. And what do I got? Uh, oh, shop card. Shout out. Let me move this. I got a shop card from my buddy Hobby Barn. Had some really nice things to say. It's Terry. Some really nice things to say on the back. That's a nice picture, man. It's a painting. Somebody did. That's... Like one of Bob Ross paintings, man. That is nice. I I did one like that, sorta. Not that good, though. Tell you what. All right, he's got a great channel, and y'all need to go over there and visit him. Give him all the love and the likes and the subscribes and the, and comments and stuff. Watch some of his videos. This guy's pretty darn good. I like him. He's a very likable fellow. Okay, next. 60s rule. I gave him a shout out before, but I really like this guy. You know, so I'm giving him another one. And I like that van. I'm gonna get one of those. I think it's a I think it's a resin one come from a resin place, but I'm gonna get one. And you guys go on over and see what it is. Six T's rule. Go over there and get you a, a, a like and a comment and tell him he's cool, because he is cool. He's a nice guy, man. And he's got a good channel with lots of in interesting stuff to watch. Okay. Shop card. Shout out. Over. Um, what's next? I I don't know. Oh, I was I was feeling bad the other day. Depression is not an easy thing to deal with. You know, I was kind of feeling bad. I come on all whiny and stuff. This is supposed to be model cars with Glenn. Not, mo not model cars with whiny guy. But... You know, sometimes it gets you and you just got to say something. And I was going through my comments and everybody was so nice, supportive, uplifting. I couldn't believe this mo this modeling community we got here, this YouTube community of modelers, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. I, I am so lucky and, and proud to be a member of this community. And I ain't been in here long, maybe a couple of months. And, uh, but all these comments were so great. It just lifted me up, brought me out of my depression. And then I got down to the bottom of the list and there was a horrible person there. Left the most nastiest, un, un, inconsiderate comment. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you part of what they said. They said, why is everything so filthy? All your videos, bugs are always flying or crawling around cobwebs, dust, dog hair, dirt, and grime. I don't see how anybody could maintain in such a filthy environment. And then they didn't even have the nerve to say, it's just my opinion. They said, sorry, just my observation. Like they had actually seen all that stuff. So I want to ask you guys, do my videos seem dirt, dirty, covered with grime and dust and cobweb? Oh yeah, there's flies. I... <laughs> 
I'm in Mississippi. Mississippi state bird is the fly. We got cows living. I got cows living across the street, just down the road a little ways. And I got cows and donkeys on the back and behind my property. And guess what comes with cows and donkeys? Flies. Yeah. And you're going to have those. Now, I can't kill flies. I'm not a killer. I, I feel bad when I, if I kill, if I kill a fly, it makes me feel bad. So I usually just take a, a one of these boards here I got, uh, like like what I put my uh, model cars with Glenn things on, and I'll shoo them outside. Let them live, let, them, let them live out there. I'm not a killer. I believe everything has a right to live, and that God wouldn't have made them if they weren't supposed to be here. You know, so, uh, but I can't understand why somebody would be so mean. They, maybe they just, maybe they just enjoy making people feel bad. I don't know. My evil stepmother that I was growing up with, she made, she really enjoyed making us feel bad, you know. But that's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, you got to love everybody, even the bad people. But dang. I don't see how that's anything good. Okay, I'm going to show you some models and shut up about that. I got a new phone. I did. I got, this is still the same one. But my buddies, Rob over at Time Machines and Mike's Model Shop, both told me in the comments that I can keep using this phone, even though it's cut off from the company and stuff, to make uh, videos and, and upload them and stuff. So, hey... I'm just going to keep using this. But I did get a new phone because this one doesn't make calls or texts or anything. It gets Gmail. Y'all can still Gmail me. But, uh, yeah, I got a new phone for that. And this phone is still good for this stuff. This is my 48 Ford uh, Gasser, of course. They're all Gassers. Let me just tell you right ahead of time. Most of my cars are Gassers. Or AFX Funny Cars. I got some Pro Streets. I got some Customs, too. I got one Custom I'm going to break out here in a little bit. A few minutes. But this is a 48 Ford. And it's a gasser. No wires. Not even spark plug wires. Excuse me. I'm drinking root beer again. Burp. And uh, let me see. Nope. The customary no drive shaft deal going on there. But this is this is my I like this car, man. I like the color on. You know, drag cars aren't usually all glammed out with lots of shiny buffed out paint. You know, the guys putting all their money into the go fast, you know, and the paint job, you know, they probably spray it with a homemade compressor in the backyard. And like this one was. And the paint's okay. It's just not glossy very. That's yeah, pretty nice, though. I like this car. I just like gassers. Uh, you can tell it's got a lot of that 41 Willys parts on it. Uh, yeah, the front axle. I don't know. I don't remember what that came from, but there it is. Okay, got a different one. This one is different. This is a wheel stander. I love wheel standers. This was the little red wagon kit, but... I made it the Hemi Thunder kit. I got the got the bumblebee stripe on the back because it's a Dodge. And a parachute on the tailgate. I'll show you the motor here in a minute and up under it. But I love me some wheel standers. I actually saw the real uh, little red wagon at US 30 drag strip up in Indiana. And it was just, it was awe-inspiring to see that thing stand up on its rear wheels and fly down the track doing like 150 mile an hour i think it was neat <laughs> bill maverick golden the driver and owner got married at the starting line and the little red wagon was his uh best man yep it was you check i ain't lying he had the little red wagon has was his best man at his wedding here's the motor it's that hemi out of the 41 willie's gasser I don't remember what them headers came from. The stacks come out at Beverly Hillbillies truck, you know, because you can build a custom version with stacks. Yup. 
That's what that is. Got a moon tank back there. Got the got the fuel lines and spark plug wires run. That's not too bad. And it's got the V drive in the back. I don't remember what I made that V drive out of, but V drives are hard to come by, so I end up having to scratch build a bunch of them. Also, scratch built ladder bars. You can actually climb up to on something with these guys. And this is my Hemi Thunder. Okay, if you give me a minute now. I got to go get the other one because I forgot to get it out. I'll be right back. I forgot. I, I'm going to leave that up there for the minute. Uh, the Vega got claimed. The feller done claimed his Vega. And it's in the mail going to him now. But the Ford, ain't nobody claimed the Ford yet. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments, how long should I wait for him to claim it? Should I just keep waiting and thinking maybe someday he'll claim it? Or should I wait a certain amount of time and then give it to somebody else, pull a different number? I don't know what to do. You guys tell me. I This whole, this whole contest -y stuff is new to me. Okay? And, yeah, let me know because there you go. Uh, no, what I was going to do, I got stash ads. I got some stash ads. I got this cool, this is a, I got this from Spotlight from their old unbuilt, un, old unbuilt models. It's uh, I don't know what year it is. Let me see what year is it. Dum -de -dum -de -dum 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 year. Uh, where do they put, oh, 2007. Okay. 2007. This is. It doesn't say snap, but I think they're just trying to fool you. It says level skill level two, but as far as I can tell, this thing's a snap. It's got all kinds of snaps on it, but it don't matter because you know what I got it for? Pro Street. Yep. Uh, a lot of people, it's going to piss off a lot of people. You can't turn a great car like a GT40 or a Ford GT into a Pro Street. You don't need to modify that. Those cars are so cool. I'm modifying it. I'm going to put some big monster tires on the back, even if I have to cut the wheel, the top of the fenders and move them up. And I'm going to put a blown Hemi in the back because that's what I do. It's going to have a big blown Hemi with headers hanging out the back. And it's going to have smaller wheels than that. I, I know those wheels are okay, but I want some more, I want some more pro street looking wheels. So we'll see what happens with this. This is cool though. I, I, just, I bought this especially to to get a, make into a pro street, and I hope I don't make anybody too mad by messing with an icon. And next stash ad. I know y'all know this kid already. This is. I'm gonna turn this flashlight off because it's. Buddy, leave me alone, boy. What do you want? Oh God, I shouldn't have said that. That's what I say, and then he goes and leads me to the food bowl. Uh, quit. I'll get you some in a minute. I'm almost done here. I know y'all know this kit. I got this from Spotlight. This is my monthly uh, model order. Look at the glare on that thing. How cool is that? Um, this is number five. This is number five. I got five, five of these bad boys now. And I'm going to buy another. I buy one every month until I get like 10 or 50. Hey, knock it off, bud. I'm going to get one every month till I got like 10 or 15 of them. I don't care. This here, this is, the uh, gas is still a new kit. They got, they got those if you're looking for one. They still got them. This one come from the old unbuilt kits. I know y'all know this. Everybody knows this kit. It's been around forever. And this is number three that I have on hand. It's probably number 20 that I've bought. Uh, every time I see one up for sale, I'll buy it because this is this is the best parts kit. The motor, y'all know the motor in this. got the Moroso valve covers and, and uh, cool intake. Nice big block, real nice. And it's got these monsters on the back. Big old monster tires. Excuse me, that's root beard backing up on me. You get a roll bar, you get two cool seats, you get a great shifter, awesome shifter. And, uh, yeah, anyway, 
Uh, he was about to hit 15, so I got to go. Y'all give me a like and a comment and a subscribe. Don't forget to tell me some stuff that I asked you about before. And I am out of here. Say bye, bud. I don't.